Hi folks, how's it going? Robin here in this video Myself and Kevin We are doing the Heron Trail Which starts in Sunny Dunbar And finishes in the town of Lauder And it's going to take us right over the Lammermuir Hills Where we'll camp out somewhere tonight This route is traditionally the old uh, Fishwise route They would take the Heron from the harbour at Dunbar where we started And they would trek across to Lauder to sell the Heron and today we're going to follow the footsteps, so let's go. Just there, mate. Right, so this is the small hamlet of Broxburn, and it's just a track that takes us to a tunnel which gets us under the A1 and the East Coast Railway line as well. I think it's here. Yeah, so look out for Brands Mill and head straight up here. It did feel like we were going through somebody's back garden there, but it's definitely the right way we found the tunnels. Right, well Dunbar is just here and we can see over the Firth of Forth got Belhaven Bay and Berwick Law and just above us up here is Doon Hill I'll tell you what folks, if you're down in Dunbar I definitely recommend the little community bakery there I've got a scone, a pie and a bacon roll for four and a half quid that is a bargain. Well that was only a short section of road hiking Now we've got us going down this track here Okay folks, 9 kilometers on the clock And we've reached the Black Lock There's our digs for tonight No budging No budging for budging That little footbridge there is a public path They've asked you to use that and to be honest it's a quick wee shortcut Just shaves off an angle Gets us on the road for a short section And then We'll finally get ourselves into the Lammer Muirs. Alright, 22 miles to go. That sign back there, so that's just done about six already. We've been going about two and a half hours. And we're eventually going to get up onto the Lammer Muirs because this snake's a little bit away and then it's going to get right in there. <laughs> So the next section now is to the White Adder So I'm thinking the halfway mark must be around the White Adder Could be a little bit fuller on right enough Ideally we want to push on to Twin Laws Or Twin Law which is on the Southern Upland Way I just can't see us getting there today but who knows Once we get up and over this We shall see Right folks, we are pretty much onto the plateau now and we go past the turbines of doom 
I'm pretty sure I could just stick my hand up and touch the tip of that blade. Nineteen miles to go. Nineteen. So we are going this way next. Right folks, that's us on the uh, the minor road now and the sign said we've got 17 miles to go Whew. Feeling it now though Right, so a little update We have just reached the white adder It's not quite halfway We've done just over 20 kilometers. The halfway mark is around 24 kilometers. So um, we're going to push on. We've identified a little bit just off the road, four kilometers on. It's sort of maybe the last place we could get shelter because we know there's strong winds coming in later tonight. So that's the plan. I'll keep you posted. Noising up the locals. Got two ruins here, one on each side. So we've got one there, one over there, and they're marked on the map as a grange. But I don't know if that's just a wee standing stone or if it's a grave. No idea what it's for. I'll have a look at the 125 scale map, see if it sheds any light. Well, according to the 125k map, it's called the Chapel Stone, so there you go. <laughs> right folks, a quick update. That's us done. 24 kilometers, which means it's halfway. And we're fully committed, because Kevin's car's in Lauder, and my car's back in Dunbar. Here Kev, would Bianca give us a lift tomorrow morning? No. Nah, she would tell us to bolt. Quite rightly too. <laughs> we are pitching here. Kev's just behind me there. He's put the fear up me though. He says, what if a car comes off the road? <laughs> Should be all right. Just been paranoid, because obviously the council gritter came over gritting the road. So I must be expecting a cold one tonight. Right, let's get pitching. Right, I've changed up my water hydration setup. I've gone for two Knock Outdoors Versica bottles. One's got the wide opening, which can take the Catadin B3 filter. That's obviously just a normal thread. I've got the Catadin B3 itself, and I've got my drinks bottle here for keeping me hydrated on the go. It's obviously a little bit heavier, but my thinking is, I've got two bottles on the front of the pack, and you can have two bottles at the side, and it just distributes the weight a bit more. So that's my thinking into that anyway. Interesting hike, um, Mont Blanc, in that you're going through three countries with very different takes on uh, wild camping laws and what facilities have been... Well, that's me just finished the podcast I was listening to. It was something to talk about. Uh, he was chatting to a chap called Mark who lives down in Cornwall and he'd done the um, Hebridean Way and he'd done the Tour de Mont Blanc as well. And this year he's 
off to Mallorca to do, I think it's a GR20, so that was a decent listen. Uh, I recommend Ryan's podcast, it's really good, it's something to talk about. Changing the subject, this is my little whistle here, I don't know if you remember it, but I lost it back in December. <clears throat> it was there one minute, I always have it clipped to my rucksack strap, and then the next minute it was gone, and um, never really thought more of it, I thought, oh well, never mind, I'll buy another one at some point. Just over a couple of weeks ago, somebody got in touch with me and he says, I think I've got your whistle. And I was like, all right. He goes, I found it on um, Skurna Unthra, I think it was. He picked it up and put it in his pocket and then he chucked it in a drawer and never thought any more of it. And it wasn't until he was watching one of my videos, he seen it on my rucksack. And he's, well, I don't know, that belongs to this guy here, uh, Walk with Wallace. So he got in touch with me through Facebook and uh, he said, you want your whistle back? He's like, I'll go for it. So. He popped in the post and lo and behold, I've got it back and it is the loudest whistle in the world apparently. Cover your ears. Give me just shafts. So there you go. Um, hope I never have to use it in proper anger, but there you go. <laughs> Sorry Kev. <laughs> Kev's got a little Game Boy. Take one of the cheap ones off Amazon. So keep it occupied for about 10 minutes. But oh, I'm dead. Oh, what? That was quick. Good morning, campers. Oh. It is 20 to 7. The wind has certainly picked up during the night. But we're in quite a sheltered spot here, so that's not so bad. But anyways, the plan is, is to get up and get ready at first light, make an attempt on this last 13 and a half miles to Lauder. Hopefully it's not too blowy on the tops. Could be interesting. Anyways, I'm gonna start getting ready, get some breakfast in me. Right, let's go. Just having a cheeky mocha choca teaser before we get going. I'm almost packed, I just need to drop the tent and I'll be good to go. I've been trying a new alcohol burner. It's the Primus stuff and it burns so much better than the bioethanol that I buy from B&Q. But there's a massive caveat that it's really sooty. Don't know if you'll be able to see that, but that's just been wiped off my pot and my windshield is covered in soot as well so I think I'll just stick to the bioethanol it's such a clean burn in comparison but the, the flame from the primer stuff was brilliant didn't get me wrong but yeah it just leaves a total mess on my pots Okay, that's us uh, just over the first rise of the day. Just over 400 metres and the wind wasn't too bad. Now we're going to drop back down and we're going to pick up the Southern Upland Way and go over a top called Twin Law. And it's got two big massive cairns. We should be able to shelter behind one. So what we're going to do is plod on, go off this high plateau and get ready for the next ascent. That's us now just merged with the Southern Upland Way and we follow this pretty much all the way to Lauder. There we go folks, Lauder, 11 miles or 18 kilometers. We've got seven kilometers done so far and we're obviously heading that way. Hey Kev. 
<laughs> Eleven miles. Nah, it's good going the way, you know what I mean? It's easily underfoot, so we should get there in good time and yes. Look what's just appeared on the horizon. One of the twin cairns. These bad boys look huge. So there's a little ammunition box here. A visitor's book, I'll have to sign that. What's the time, Kev? First wrap o'clock of the year. Nah, that's a bit of rank. Well, we got to this little farm here. We're not sure which way to go because the Southern Upland Way goes up here. But the Heron Trail takes this side and then they meet back up further around. So a quick look at the map. That one goes up another 60 meters or so. So we're going to stick with the Heron Trail given that's what we're doing. I tell you what, folks, fair play to the Fishwives, back in the day, lugging creels of heron across this route, 28 miles over moorland and farmland and whatnot. Of course, it looked a bit different back then as well, I suppose. Well, it's wrap o'clock because we never had a wrap up at Twinlaw, it was too windy. So Kev's getting the first wrap of 2023 on the go. And yesterday, Michael today, I'm Slow motion. Sometime the day. Oh, this is no going in the cut. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's no Jeezy peeps, folks. I'm hoping that's the last climb of the day. Woo. I'm feeling like this could be our home run. Come on, nearly there. Nearly there. Super Bosch. Shake and bake. Well, that's it, folks. That is a wrap. Six hours and 25 kilometers today. And boom, here we are in Lauder. If you watched this far, thank you very much. I'll catch you next one. Cheers.